I couldn't believe when I saw that longtime voice of the Philadelphia 76ers, Mark Zumoff, is turning the microphone off. He has decided that this has been his last season and he is retiring from the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, I was absolutely stunned and shocked. I mean, Zoo seems to be at the top of his game still. You never are at a moment of listening to Mark Zumoff where you're like, huh, he's really slipping here, man. Uh, you know, I know Marv Alpert's uh, considered to be the greatest, and you listen to him some nights and you're saying, oh, I can see Marv is slowing down. Maybe it's time for him to kind of pass the torch to somebody else. Never did I say that about Mark Zumoff. Mark Zumoff has been really the only voice that I have ever known to call Philadelphia 76ers games. He started with the then Prism Network as the halftime host, and then for the last 27 years has been the play-by-play voice of the Philadelphia 76ers. The catchphrases have turned into podcasts. The catchphrases have turned into T-shirts. But more importantly, his catchphrases have turned into the vernacular of the Philadelphia fan, the Sixer fan out there. When you watch a Sixers game or when someone talks about the Sixers, you'll hear them many times. Turning garbage into gold, locking all windows and doors in no particular hurry as they rise at the Wells Fargo Center. Hang on, Allah, we're coming in for a landing. His famous yes. After countless moments, too many to list. The only play-by-play voice a generation of Sixers fans has ever known will no longer describe the Sixers' action. Now, the team says they plan to properly honor and celebrate Zumoff at home games next at a home game next season following his retirement announcement today. That's Mark Zumoff. That's the Mark Zumoff that I know. I have had many of conversations with Mark. He has texted me. We've talked on the phone. I've met him in person. Just a genuine human being. And to me, it comes as a surprise, but no surprise, that Mark Zumoff didn't want some elaborate send-off, rocking chairs and microphones and headsets to honor the amazing work that he's done. But rather, almost inconspicuously at the end of the year, say, I'm out of here. I am coming in for a landing. The 76ers will need a new voice. For 39 years, we've all heard Mark Zumoff. He's been in our living room. Since 1982, he has been the most familiar voice in the Philadelphia market. He became the play-by-play announcer on August 17, 1994. And today he announced that that is the end. The 2020-2021 season was his last No elaborate send-offs. No one more time around the league. While he's worked with many partners, he is the constant. He is Philadelphia 76ers basketball. He resonated with Sixers fans because he was, in fact, a Sixer fan. He grew up in Northeast Philly, went to George Washington High. He was a Temple University grad. He even vacations down the shore in Margate. He could be listening right now. And if he is, I would like to tell Zoo, I appreciate all the work that you've done, all the action that you've called, and all the nights that you've been in my living room. It was an honor and a privilege to be able to listen in a town that is filled with great voices. Zumoff felt like your friend. He felt like the guy who was just absolutely there because he wanted to watch the game with you wherever you are watching it, not describe it for you. And that doesn't minimize the job that he did. I thought the job that he did was incredible. But he always felt just like your friend. And I'm going to miss Zumoff calling the action on television, and I'm going to miss Zumoff sending me a random text here or there, And I'm going to miss having Zumoff just give me a call and ask me a few questions and 
hey, Mike, I'm in Margate, and I wanted to ask you this. There's a lot of people in this industry who are in it with ego and for the wrong reasons. Mark Zumoff is the furthest from one of those guys. He was a class act through and through. And I certainly, as I said, was surprised, but I'm not surprised at how he decided to do it, if that makes sense. Could Mark continue to go? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, In a statement from the team, he said he wanted to spend some more time with his wife and his family, and he wanted to learn foreign languages and travel and do all the stuff that we all take for granted. You know, being in this industry sometimes, people don't understand the odd hours, and it seems glorious sometimes on the surface. Yeah, going to games is cool traveling here and there it could be fun but at some points it becomes tiresome repetitive but there is that part of it that is unique but the other part of it is as he described you know you're away on the weekends you're away on holidays and if you truly love your family that's hard sometimes you know I cut back on going to games. I, When I was younger, I went to games all the time. Feel like going to the Phillies game tonight, jump in my car. Feel like going to the Sixers game tonight, jump in the car. So you admire people who can make that work, and that shows you what kind of person and man that Mark Zumoff is. So I wish him the best, and I certainly will miss his calls, his energy, and – I have no idea what will be next for that broadcast. It will be a tough act to follow for anybody who takes that job. But in the Pantheon, in Philadelphia sports, it feels like, oddly enough, I'm 44. I grew up with Harry Callis on the Phillies, with Mark Zumoff on the Sixers. Obviously, Merrill Reese is the only voice that almost every one of us has ever heard on the Eagles. And I was a little young for Gene Hart. I'm more in the Jim Jackson uh, era of Flyers hockey. But for Zumoff, you know, once Harry passed, and now Tom's been doing this for quite some time now it almost feels normal that Tom McCarthy is the voice of the Philadelphia Phillies and of course Merrill who's on the radio so he's not that television presence he's not in your living room every night Mark Zuboff's in your living room every night and that I'll miss because Mark felt like he says he would come through the television and almost say Hey, Mike, can I sit on the couch next to you and describe this game? You know, people have told me they've seen Zoom Off call high school football games and that he's just as prepared for those as he is a Philadelphia 76ers game. Not surprising at all. That's the kind of stuff that I appreciate. You know, I do a lot of play-by-play, and quite frankly, I love it. I love doing play-by-play. It's what I always wanted to do. Doing the sports talk show was not what I wanted to do. Play-by-play jobs are few and far between. They're hard to get. And, oh, by the way, they don't pay very well. You do it because you love it. Now, I'm not suggesting that Mark didn't get paid well. I'm sure he did quite well at that level. On the way up there, it's not easy. And the preparation that goes into doing a game is incredible work. You know, you're calling a basketball game or a football game or a baseball game The amount of time that you need to fill and the backstories you need to get and all that stuff, it is amazing the amount of tidbits and things that he could add to a broadcast. And just having a small dose of doing that job on a much smaller level, the appreciation for what he did is pretty cool. So, Congratulations, Mark. I hope you enjoy your time off. I did send him a text today. I Hopefully uh, he got that and uh, we can 
chat some t- time down the line. I do know that he was just recently on the locker room with Billy Schwein. I think either last weekend or the weekend before that, I guess it would be the final interview he's ever done as the voice of the Philadelphia 76ers on radio. Pretty cool. And I heard that interview, and he told a lot of these stories. You know, I'm just a kid from the Northeast who was a fan of the team who always my dream was to be the voice of the 76ers. A lot of us have had that dream, Mark. You got to live it, so mazel tov to you, my friend. Mark Zumoff, one of the best. This is the Sports Bash Live on 97.3 ESPN.